Hey, this is Aquas here doing another tutorial on Kerbal Space Program version 1.3. Today I will be showing you how to properly use solid rocket boosters. Uh, solid rocket boosters such as the kickback are an ideal solution to uh, give your vessel the extra uh, thrust it needs to get off the ground. Um, so as to example exemplify this I will be using the uh, NRAP test weight and uh, it is set to 10 tons by default I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to add some rocket parts uh, this piece here this piece uh, one big tank actually I'm going to rotate that and then uh, the Rhino engine. Move this up some. Put that underneath. Okay, according to Kerbal Engineer, uh, we're in atmospheric flight on Kerbin. Uh, the Rhino engine lacks sufficient thrust. As you can see here, it's 0.96. In order to do a vertical liftoff, you need uh, TWR to be one or greater. Well, actually it needs to be greater than one um, so under atmospheric conditions it would not have the uh, power to lift off under its own power so this is where the, um, the solid rocket boosters would come in hand or come into play so we just add a decoupler on uh, both sides I'm using mirror symmetry uh, add a kickback on both sides. Translate these down to about ground level, right there. Add some nose caps, and of course, you need to strut everything, so we're just going ahead and strut the boosters to the fuel tank. Like that. All right, so now you can see here, uh, Kerbal Space Program's um, default behavior was to add the new engines on an entirely separate stage. Uh, this also would be insufficient to get off the ground. However, if we supplement the Rhino engine with the solid rocket boosters, we now have 1.38, which is enough thrust to get off the ground. Uh, approximately one uh, one minute 2.8 seconds later the solid boosters will run out of fuel and flame out at which point we can stage yet again to jettison them and uh, hopefully we will be up high enough uh, I'd say about approximately 8,000 so we will have uh, Approximately 3,142 delta phi uh, velocity left in uh, for the Rhino, which will then have a TWR of two or more, and it will continue to increase the further it goes up. So we're going to save this, and I'm going to launch it, and of course I'm going to use MechJeb. 80 kilometers should be enough. Engage. We have a thrust to weight ratio of 1.63 and climbing. Solid boosters working alongside the liquid fuel engine. Going into a gravity turn now. Have a TWR of 2.08. I'm in the 4,500 meters. Six thousand meters vertical uh, velocity. 
100 meters per second, 10,000 meters. We are a go for staging. Saw boosters cleaned up, staged off. No longer needed. We're off the ground and we're climbing under our own power. Rhino engine still working. And it looks like it'll achieve orbit. And sure enough, engine cut out. We're at 50,000 meters. Continuing to climb. 2,700 units uh, are delta velocity left. Need 1282.7 to circularize. Circularization begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And there we have it, we have achieved orbit.